turning to weather now. We're going to take a live look over a cloudy Denver mm -hmm. this evening. Uh, and we've also had just some gusty winds all day that have been kind of a bummer if you want to get I outside. I, I took off on my bicycle and then I turned just around on my bicycle right and put it back in the garage <laughs> and I went to Perfect. Costco. That was my day instead. Yeah, I mean, 30, 40, 50 mile per hour wind yeah. I mean, Oof, it was pretty, pretty winds, yeah. nasty out there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good news is those are going to be winding down tonight. But wow, look at some of these numbers. Updated. Berthed past 62 mile per hour wind gusts, even out there in Aurora, 50 plus mile per hour speed. So it's been a gusty afternoon across much of the front range, up through the foothills into the high country. And yes, as Jessica mentioned, the clouds draped across much of the front range. In fact, mountain wave cloud developing across much of the city. This afternoon, high temperatures were in the low to mid 80s across the urban corridor, a bit warmer around La Junta and Lamar. And wait till you see the forecast for tomorrow out there. 70s in Eagle up to Steamboat and Craig looking comfortable at 70. It's been a pretty quiet day as far as no rain, no thunderstorms to deal with. Just that cloud deck that's pushed in across parts of the city and certainly the central mountains looking at mostly cloudy skies too. That front has been hanging with us, helping to kick up the winds throughout much of the day. But look at this warm front starts to roll through and that means business. Tomorrow we are cranking up the heat in a big way. In fact, we're talking about our first 90 degree day so far of the year here in Denver. Tonight, mostly clear skies, really a nice mild evening for you as temperatures fall into the lower 50s up into northern Colorado. The eastern plains too. open up the windows, let in some of that fresh air 30s and 40s up through the mountains and into the foothills. And I'm going to show you the future cast, but really not a ton to show you. This takes us overnight into early tomorrow morning. Few clouds may be drifting in across the eastern plains by the afternoon. Still not much going on. Nothing but sunshine. That's going to be the name of the game tomorrow. Good luck finding some shade because it is going to be a hot, sunny and dry day. In fact, our temperatures will be warming up quite a bit. Even by midday, we'll be in the 80s. Warm and dry. That will be the name of the game for Wednesday and into Thursday. And then things begin to change Friday and as we look ahead toward the weekend. So tomorrow, let's break it down. Our average high should be at 80 degrees. Our forecast high 92, making it our first 90 degree day of the year. Will it be a record breaker? I don't think so. 96 will hold and we set that one actually back in 2020. Look at Lamar whew, taking the cake with the triple digit heat coming your way. We'll stay in the 90s across the northern eastern plains, 70s in Leadville, mid 80s around Eagle and then the sizzling 90 degree heat out across much of the western slope. Head west 60s and 70s up into the foothills if you're looking to cool off. The 90s make a comeback on Thursday, slightly cooler on Friday with a few scattered storms. A stronger system rolls in, unfortunately, just in time for the weekend. Good chance for storms both afternoon and evenings. Possibly a little severe weather will be much cooler early next week with the afternoon thunderstorms once again making a comeback.